Are we on? Ooh, ooh. We live. Oh, you didn't you ain't do the ooh, ooh. We lied it. <laughs> uh, Where we at with it? Law number six. Talk to him, man. Law number six, core attention at all costs. Man, I feel bad because for the people that's just tuning in, like we done did a whole like 40 minutes. Yo, we spent some heat. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. We're gonna give, we'll, give, we'll, we'll try to run it, we'll try to duplicate it. I, I'm not gonna blame the uh, host or the producer. You got to, you got to. <laughs> I don't, I don't yeah. really have nobody to blame. I guess the, the it was the lag. We had a lag. So, court and attention. Matter of yeah. fact, I'm blaming your tech ass. You need to make sure that I'm good. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> yeah, me. I'm about to say like, yo, I wish we had a tech person on this call. <laughs> Shoot, I need a tech person like. <laughs> Shoot, uh, why you didn't make sure I had the fiber? You over here. We, so for all y'all that don't know, he just gave me the whole tutorial on, on how this internet service works. Gave so. you the whole tutorial after the fact. After the fact, but we but we gonna be good. We're gonna be good. Oh yeah, nah, we're gonna hug it up. We're gonna hug up the, the stew down. Yeah, so you said you got the so we'll I guess we'll do the real life scenarios. So I got two, yeah, I got two real life scenarios, right? Yeah. Um, I'll do the first one. I'll do one first because it's more current, right? I don't yeah. know if you watch. I don't know if you watch it, but Power Fifty okay. holding all the attention, mm. holding all the attention, bro. Mm. It was the season fina- series finale of Power Book Two. This past Friday, this past, yeah, the one that the one. Okay. That- all the attention was on Power. All the attention, all the yeah. press, all the media. Like, I feel like that is a positive example and a positive courting courting attention, if, the, if that makes a positive application of this law, right? Um, good or bad, people, you know, people were reviewing it. I had my own mixed feelings about, you know, I, I was watching it, you know, about this, the series finale. Oh, this is the end of power and this one and that one. But the attention, it was courted. It was, it was planned out methodically. It was, he was seeking it. He rolled it out the right way. 100%. I think this is, and it, it, it kind of quickly relates to something we were talking about earlier. He was ready. He's 50 was ready. He's playing this move and he methodically was courting the attention to his strength versus just, oh, I, I'm ready to, you know, let's go in the news. Let's go. Oh, power. Yeah. Ha, ha, yeah. ha. like he was like, I, I know what I'm doing. I'm rolling this out. And even now we're, we're talking about it, which yeah. is exactly what the attention he's seeking. And oh, I think you know, power shouldn't have ended the way it did. That's great. This is what that's what he's paying. That's, that's all he paying. wanted you to. That's all accomplished. Yep. All accomplished. And it and it goes to show you the the whole point of having the planned out execution, like a fifty has, because he's so strategic with stuff. Mm-hmm. He's able to calculate what are the pros and cons of this of this mm-hmm. decision. What are the risks of this decision? What are the sacrifices that we're going to have to make? And that's, I feel like that's just who he is as a person. So it kind of just shows in different areas or different projects that he's working on. I feel like he also courts attention just irregardless. I feel like that man, Yeah. I don't know if it's him necessarily or his team, or even if he feels like if he's gotten to the point in his life where he could just move that, that way, Mm -hmm. um, he courts attention. And yeah. and it works for him yeah. because yeah. I feel like he accepts it, he anticipates it. But I think one thing that the book didn't mention, I think the book didn't mention this. He knows what to do with it once he has your attention. Mm. I think the book gave some yeah. perfect, I think the book gave yeah. some really good stories and examples of people courting the attention. And it also referenced if you if you do some research on the name, like me and you have on the individuals in the story, mm-hmm. they knew how to keep the attention. Right? Yeah, they knew how to. Yeah, but if yeah. you, but for the you know for regular regular readers, you're not gonna you're not gonna pick that up. You know what I mean? Like P.T. Barnum, like we were talking about that man. You you're talking about the story, and I'll let you go in a second. But he knew how to captivate the audience. Once he had your attention, he knew how to keep it. How he got the attention was you know laid out in the story in the book. But once that man had your attention. Everybody and everybody in their lives, I, th- I would solely put it due to that man, wants to go to a circus. Yeah. And all these ones in their life, I, I wanted to go to a circus. When I was growing up, would you hear P.T. Barnum Circus, blah, 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 blah. I want to go to a circus. I don't know what it's about, but I want to go. Yeah. You know? Is it still lagging? I feel like it's still lagging. Nah. I'm hearing I'm hearing the echo. Oh, yeah. I'm not hearing the echo. All right. So maybe we good. But yeah, so back going, ref- 
regarding that story that you mentioned, you know, P mm -hmm. PT Barnum, you know, he was working for a guy named Aaron Turner. Aaron mm -hmm. Turner pretty much set him up. They had they landed. That's I don't know where they were. Um, Annapolis, Maryland. So they're in Annapolis, Ma Maryland, yeah. getting ready to do a show. Uh -huh. And Turner, he pretty much tells, I guess, the people in the neighborhood that Barnum is somebody else. And he's just in disguise, like this guy yeah. that supposedly killed some people, got off, but people still thought that he was still the murderer. That's and a mob cool. of folk just grabbed him up. And then he was pleading like, yo, I'm not who you think I am, not who you think yeah, I am. Bring me to the circus, bring me to the circus. Brought him to the circus, Turner and I guess the, the people at the circus, they confirmed mm -hmm. that he was who he said he was. Mm -hmm. But then he found out that Turner was the one that created the rumor in the beginning. So he didn't know that Turner was the one, his boss was the one that created the rumor and he just created it to have a buzz. So now mm -hmm. everybody wanted to go to the circus just because they were yeah. hearing more about it. People who just, it would have been out of sight, out of mind. It became yep. a story in town. Then now you got a sold out show. Now, yeah, you got a sold out venue, you got sold out mm -hmm. everything. But to your point, then once you get people there, now yeah, you have to captivate them. them. Yeah. Because now your brand is on the line. Yep. So that's that's definitely where it's, it's not, it's like the, the courting attention provides the opportunity. It provides, okay, now you got the stage with the spotlight on you. Now what are you going to do with it? Yep. Yeah. I think it just, it, it's just that saying, you know, stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like for exact situations like this, if you're ready, and then you court attention, you will capitalize on everything that you're trying to do mm -hmm. because you're already ready. It's just mm -hmm. validating and courting the attention that you already need or that you need to apply the principle, if that yeah. makes sense. Yeah, it's almost I remember like think about think back when we used to watch film. You watch yeah. film yeah. and, you know, if you had a bad game then you ain't really trying to watch. Yeah. Like, ah, you get to that play where it's like yeah. somebody may have you know, bullied you on a play and you like, oh, I hope coach skip past this play. Right. But then when there's a play where it's like, you got the attention and you stood yep. out for a positive, it's like, oh yeah, coach, hey, run that, hey, run that play yeah. back real quick, coach. Run, run out again. Matter of yeah. fact, you see that? You what, know what I'm saying? They got the red dot on you like, yo, look, yeah, look, look, yeah. Well, look, 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 look <laughs> at the mirror. Like, you know what I mean? You, like, you so, asking stupid questions like, coach, was my form good on that? Was, was my form good? Like, like everybody looking at you like, what? But you're getting the attention. You're getting the attention. Now, yeah. coach knows your name. Yeah, you know, yeah, and, and, like and to a point, even if you messed up now, this yeah. this is um don't mess up on purpose. I wouldn't recommend it unless you really that confident in yourself. But let's say you mess up, and then the next day, now the coach is gonna be looking to see if you messed up again. Now, if you can show that you learned from your mistake and you were able to implement the strategy or technique that the coach wanted you to do it the first mm -hmm. time, now that's a plus to the point where now the coach believes. You're coachable. Maybe even you even maybe have a one up compared to the kid that just did it right the first time. Yep. You know what I mean? The kid yep. that did it right the first time went unnoticed. But now you had the spotlight on you. Mm -hmm. You got called out in front of everybody, maybe got embarrassed. But then the next day, now everybody looking like, yo, let's see if he did it right this time. Now, when you do it right, yep. it's like, yeah, now everybody like, OK, OK, we got one here. You know, so yeah, it, so it works. And that's just how life works. 100 percent. That's just how, People yeah. like this story from. The the people want the underdog that you know people like this story the roller coaster rather than just a consistent person, mm -hmm. and I feel like it also applies to corporate you know your jobs you know your your personal development you know you want the attention you want people to know hey I have this skill hey mm -hmm. I can do this you know what mm -hmm. I mean like in, in the office you know a lot of people uh, most people working you know working some type of office work situation. Um, if you ain't getting credit, nobody knows your name. You're just the guy that sits in the cubicle. You're that guy that, oh, yeah, yeah, that's that's so-and-so. Yeah, you know. It doesn't even have to be work. It Honestly, it doesn't have to be work-related, but just courting the attention, right? Like, that's how people, you know, oh, that's the funny guy. Oh, that's the mm -hmm. that's the um, the player. You know what I mean? Like, oh, her, you know, she's... the She's the piano girl. You know what I mean? Like, that's how you get labeled. You got to court the attention for whatever it is. You know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, if you don't show people, they're not going to know. That's a fact, bro. You know so what I mean? I'm going to play you something. Go ahead. I'm going to play you something that I just thought. Hold on. Hold on. You tell me. This is what I think about now. I wasn't uh -oh. even thinking about it first, though. Uh -oh. You're going to see where uh -oh. I'm going. You already know where I'm going, bro. Uh -oh. I'm Let's take a look. about you, true. They say your mother is an immortal goddess. They say you can't be killed. 
I wouldn't be bothering with the shield then, would I? A Thessalonian you're fighting. He's the biggest man I've ever seen. I wouldn't want to fight him. That's why no one will remember your name. Mm. The tough, mm. One of the toughest lines of that movie. Mm. Is you got to take the risk. Not everybody wants to be in the spotlight, but when you prep, when you prepare mm. for something, then it's like, like you said on the job, it's like, I'm prepared. So I need to, I yeah. need to let y'all know that, no, I need credit for this because yeah. I prepared for it. I executed. So now I understand the spotlight's going to be on me moving forward mm -hmm. to see if I can continue to deliver. Yeah. Um, and I'm confident in that rather than being the person that just would rather have, you know, aim low, just so that, you know, it's like mm -hmm. you have a low fall, you know, at least I won't fall from, you know, being so high, taking these risks. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's, I, yeah. I get what's, what's the what's the what's the saying? Aim aim small, miss small, aim big, yeah. miss big. Yeah, I'm shooting for the stars, baby. They're like Pop said, shooting for the stars. And I also feel like there's another example that came to mind just now. Wow, there's which another one? example. So courting attention at all costs, right? Mm -hmm. You know who comes to mind? Who you thinking? Lloyd Money Mayweather. That's a good one. Because, Negative and positive. Yeah. The bad boy, the, the bad boy effect that we were talking about earlier is both a negative and a positive because mm -hmm. he portrays himself in a negative light. But mm -hmm. it should we should also note that he has perfected courting attention, right? Like right. that man knows exactly what he's doing. He's, every move is calculated, precise. Even when we think, "Oh, what are you doing?" It's calculated, it's precise. Everything, um, the flashy lifestyle, yeah. and he oh, said it before. He's like, "Yo, I don't even." I don't eat like this. I don't live like this. But <laughs> when y'all put the cameras out, I'm going to act yep. like it because now y'all going to think I live yeah. this every day. Yep. You know, if y'all if y'all believe mm -hmm. that, then cool. Now he's got people pay to see him lose. Yeah. He realized that the that. villain gets yeah. more yeah. attention or just as much attention, probably more attention than trying to be liked by mm -hmm. everybody. It's mm -hmm. easier to just, you know what? They're going to pay attention to me. People, people will root to see somebody they dislike lose yeah. rather than root to see somebody that they're indifferent on or, or like win. You know what I'm saying? Which is such a crazy, yeah. wow. crazy statement. It's wild. Allowed, it's wild. But it's the truth because wow. the proof is in the pudding. How many millions has he made? He, arguably mm -hmm. almost billions, I think, at this point. Well, Floyd has made, I think he made a billion dollars in, uh, in boxing. I mean, just off of, and then you get, what's funny is you combine him and McGregor two guys that are very similar you know both the same and that's one of the mm -hmm. biggest boxing events in the history of yeah. boxing and it's because both guys court attention at all costs they understand the risk that comes with it and they're ready to perform when that opportunity presents itself mm -hmm. yeah. it's um it's and, and and there's strategy around it I, even when you talked about with 50 like yeah. on the build-ups and stuff even the story where you know, they were they had the museum. Was it the museum? I think it was the museum where the head of the museum ran into somebody that was on the street. Like, um, you know, I don't know if beggars a disrespectful term, but a homeless guy he was begging for some stuff. And he said, you know what? Instead of giving you money or anything else, I'm going to give you a job. So mm. what he did was he had the guy like lay bricks or something. He was laying something on the way. I forget. Uh -huh. <laughs> See, I'm going. I need to I need to check my notes. <laughs> he was laying bricks on the way to like imagine just seeing somebody laying the, bricks. You know what I mean? Like on the yeah. street and just doing something. And he was laying them towards the museum. So to to get people to come into the museum, yeah, they pretty yeah. much he had the person. People were just just wanted to pay to get into the museum just to follow this guy. And yeah. then once they got in the museum, now you got to have something to show people. Now you got to hold people's attention. Yep. So the guy would go out the back door, go out a side door, then could you know do the same He's route. That's so big to the point where the police or somebody they had to intervene and in, intervene and say, like, yo, this dude's causing traffic, like it's a delay. And they had right. thousands of people. I think they had like hundreds or maybe a thousand people the first day just by following this one person. So it is a lot of strategy that goes in with along yeah. with it. And Another thing I think that's important is being able to not care about how people look at you when you talk about 50, because it's like I'm most people, they say, oh, you know, I'm just not like I don't like bragging about stuff. No, mm -hmm. what it really is. You care about what other people think about you. you that's why you're not going to claim yeah. that work is yours. That's why you yeah. don't want to be the person that's out here, because, you that's know, fear. once that's you're fear. out there, all that criticism yep. is coming your way. But 
if, if, if a lot of people hating on you, usually you win it. Yeah. So. Yeah. And I think, you know, people do forget that, you know, they're, they're fearful of, oh, if I, if I, if I do this wrong, so-and-so is never going to, you know, they're going to judge me and never give me another opera. Oh my God, this is, I don't know if this is going to work. You mm -hmm. got to risk. You got to, you got to yeah. be able to court the attention. Yeah. Example um, that comes to mind based off the story. I, for, I completely forgot about that story, but a modern day, I feel like example of that, you know what I'm thinking about that? I feel like so many people forgot, but you, you, the implications of it are still around. The Chick-fil-A Popeye's spicy chicken sandwich whole battle that had happened during. COVID. Oh, yeah. I remember that. They courted so much attention. So that. much attention. Mm -hmm. I'll Mom, give you another one. Nice. Kanye and 50. When 50, remember they released their album on the same day? And, and 50 was like, I'm retiring if he sells more than me. Kanye sold more than him. He didn't retire, but because they had their battle, they probably both sold more than oh, what yeah, they, they would have sold, sold if they didn't have, you know, this little competition that they, so 100%. it's, um, it, it's like anything. It's mm -hmm. like anything you have to, people got to notice you. People yeah. got to notice you. If you want to be paid in a certain type of way, a mm -hmm. lot of people want to be quiet and, you know, mm -hmm. oh, I just want to, you know, be behind the scenes. Well, then you're going to have to pay somebody else to be, to in be, front of the scene, you know, to be the yeah, scene, in front you know, of the or scene. to cause the scene. Yep. Um, and if you don't have the money to pay them, then you may yep. have to do it yourself. Yep. Yep. So, and on top, you know, I mean, relatable example for me, you know, if I want to get a girl, I got, you know, get a, get a date. I got to court attention, man. Nobody wants somebody that's, that's in the shadows, you know, um, nobody wants somebody that's laid back. Nobody wants, you know, the guy that, well, why, why would I want to go out with them? Well, you don't know. The person so why would mm -hmm. you what if you're courting mm -hmm. attention and in a positive and a negative manner right because mm -hmm. it could go it could it could go either way all of it little too you know what i mean like some people might say you go out too much but then mm -hmm. for other people it's like hey you you know you're not out enough for me so that works yeah so it's cool. um it's definitely something to figure out it's a process oh yeah for sure it's definitely a process it's uh man courting attention and it's like you said, for people like half the time you want to be, I don't know, I don't particularly like the word humble, but you don't want to be the guy that you know, you don't want to be the clown. You don't want to be the guy that's promoting themselves. You don't yeah, want to yeah, be that. Yeah. But just understand that that only every. Every action that we make is going to create a certain reaction. So yep. if we're looking to become big, well known, we want to be the guy, then you may be the guy that's on the, you know, sports who's doing the celebrations yeah. who, you know, cause that's all yeah. the kids like him. What are, what are all the kids doing? They do that little gritty because Justin Jefferson, little, John Moran, you know what I mean? Like that's yeah, what they yeah, do. Yeah, for and sure. it pours like, attention. Next like, thing you know, shoe deal. Kawhi yeah. Leonard. I, I can't tell you what his shoes look like. You know what I mean? But I can tell you what a lot of these other guys like shoes look like, you know, it's just courting 100%, attention. hundred you know? percent. That you know, like like we were talking earlier as well, the the TikTok trend, the social media trend. Mm -hmm. These kids on TikTok, they make millions of dollars. They're courting attention, whether the actions they're taking. Uh, you know, I'm not condoning some of the actions I, mm -hmm. I've seen on some of these TikToks. You know, running around telling people they're stupid or running around acting stupid in you know the wrong neighborhoods or something just for attention. But courting the attention, you know, people are like, oh my god, this is so funny, ha ha ha. Or or I see comments too. Oh, this is so dangerous. This is so this. Yeah, but that's what they want. They want you sitting on the, on their page commenting. They want you liking, generating uh, the algorithm, you know, stuff mm -hmm. like that, because they capitalize off it. They make money now off mm -hmm. that. So they're courting the attention versus like we were talking about sometimes the pages that mean well, the people that mean good, you know, they don't court attention. They're, oh, I'm just going to post what I'm going to post. And, I, you know, I don't want to make no waves. I don't want to, you know, I don't, mm -hmm. I don't want my coworkers to see. I don't want, I don't want. My my nephew's brother's uncle's cousin to see because they might judge me. They might think of me away. Mm -hmm. If you do, if you gotta have the, you gotta have the methodology. You gotta have a method to the madness. Because mm -hmm. if you do, when you're ready and prepared, that's when you get lucky. That's what they don't say. That's what that's when you get lucky, right? Create so, that luck. Yeah, you know create I mean? that luck. It, it's anything when you almost back into it like this. What's one of the biggest expenses for successful businesses? Advertising. I was say marketing, advertising, marketing sure. and advertising. Yeah. You know, marketing, advertising. So you're going to pay your sales team, all these different things. You are going yeah. to pay people to be your walking billboard. 
to court attention. You're going to pay That's people it. to court attention. That's That's I need attention because if you can, if you you can always make money if you can have attention on you because 100%. there's always going to be a brand that's going to say like, okay, boom, they, mm-hmm. they got this many people looking at them. Like, okay, there's always going to be a particular market mm-hmm. where that, that audience that you have, that you've worked on courting that, that company, that brand is going to be able to benefit from. Yeah. hundred percent. Yeah. 100%. yeah. Th- think about the story. They had the, even the story with the wasp. It was like the story oh, with the wasp. Yeah. I forget where the wasp, you know, obviously the wasp, once they, once they sting a bunch of people, I think the wasp dies. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, yeah. The wasp was going around stinging people, and just to be known, it's like, nah, I'm stinging everybody. I know I'm going out with a with a bang. It is what it is. I'm letting everybody know. You know, and some people and some people do that. You shoot. Yeah. What did we talk about before? Before that laggy service I had with them little homies in Chicago. Yeah, they do it. It's like you know, you may not know, but there's a good chance of the things that y'all doing. If y'all putting guns on our Instagram talking about the crimes y'all did on Instagram and on this interview and that interview to get a lot of attention, you know, what's going to come from that. You know, you just like that wasp, you keep you stinging course. everybody. Eventually you're going to get stung or you, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, you're going to be over, but you're not prepared. You're not prepared for what that attention is. Mm-hmm. Right. And the, ri- yeah, the risk, the hundred ri- percent. Yeah. Yep. yep. hundred yeah. percent. It's yeah. just, man, you got to be ready for it. Yeah. You gotta be ready for it. it'll come. It'll come. You get that attention if you put yourself out there, but you gotta be ready for it. If you don't have a plan, you you've already failed. You it's know, wasted. It's like a one hit wonder. Like Bobby Schmurder, where's the rest of the songs at? You know what I mean? Like not yeah. to get on it, but even you, you look at a lot of these artists. What's the whoop dig? Like I haven't heard anything. You know what I mean? Like this man still. I don't know how he's still doing tours. He still I, shout he's out to still, him. Nah, he created. Shout, I, shout out to him. Season. You feel me? Because he created his little buzz. And I mean, we see it all the time. Like it could be the goofiest thing. You see somebody like a six nine before all this, you know, the BS mm-hmm. with him. You wondering like, dude got on rainbow hair. I he, think that's the perfect. If I'm being honest, that's you one know of what I mean. Applications of the law. He courted attention at all. I, I firmly, and I don't know the dude from a, a mm-hmm. bucket of paint. You know what I'm saying? I firmly believe it's like Floyd. That man does not act like that in private. I I, I have to believe Can't. that that man. Yeah. But in public, what is he? I ain't never seen no rapper with no rainbow haircut. Mm-hmm. He did that because to court attention. Mm-hmm. Hey, I'm going to do this collab with so-and-so. I got money. Let's do it to court attention. Hey, I'm going to go get caught up and do this in it to court attention. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? And again, I think he was a little bit more prepared for it. But ultimately, you know, we, we're not going to talk was com- I mean, about We're not going to talk yeah, about the yeah, that's, that's, yeah, that's, that's, stuff. that's even, other stuff. Even something as simple as... um. You know, reinvesting back in yourself, like yeah. making sure that, you know, you go into the office, you want to you want to stand mm-hmm. out, you want to look nice. Yeah. You know, you want to be presentable. So there's other ways. It's kind of like you can pick what areas that you're going to use yeah. to be known at and stand out in those ways. Like, OK, there's I want to be the, I want to be the, the guy that's best dressed, you know, at least. Mm-hmm. OK, cool. Or I want to be the guy that's known for this. I want to be the athletic guy. I want to be this one, yeah. whatever it may be. You got to pick something because. If not, then you're going to be just like Achilles said. That's why nobody will ever know your name. And you may be cool with that. But if you have a business or if you're trying to market yourself or if you're trying to move up your corporate structure, corporate ladder may not be the best thing. And I think, to be honest, you need it in every in, in, in some aspect of your life. You need this rule. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Whether it's in work, whether it's personal, you know, what I'm saying? I feel like in personal, so you need it mm-hmm. at one point or another. You ain't going to get married and you're not going to, you know. Have kids and this and that, and you know, family, you know, plan, matriarchy, mm-hmm. patriarchy, whatever. The, you know, um, if you don't court attention, closed mouth don't get fed. Basically, closed mouth don't get fed. So this this is one where it, it's like every single one of these laws where it's like it, it's like almost there should be a a warning label where it's yeah. like warning yeah. like. You know, precaution where it's just like, bro, we might have to hit up, you know, well, this guy's name. we might have to hit up Robert Green and, and tell him, like, yo, we got a little cheat sheet for you, big dog. We, we got the little where this law apply. We, we might mm-hmm. we're at the code, we might have a little product on our hands. That would be dope, yeah. man. That would be dope. Yeah, we're we gonna do the reviews. We're gonna now, now, and all we got to do is court attention at all costs because I guarantee you, if he saw us doing a million views on this, or because he's now gonna be oh, like, yeah. oh. Not you only do I notice them, but I, I notice, notice that everybody else notices them. So this can be beneficial for me as well. 100%. 100%. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, you know so what I mean? That's a, good, that's a good way to wrap it up. That was a good point. That was a good point, man. You got any? You got any uh, final mm-hmm. final thoughts on it? Final thoughts. If you want a girlfriend, guys, court attention. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I gotta work on this one, but court attention. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and, and mine would be be okay being uncomfortable. Mm. Be okay being uncomfortable because a lot of those uncomfortable things, those are going to be the things that set you apart from everybody else because everybody else doesn't want to do those uncomfortable things either. So lean into the uncomfortable things, use that as a way to stand out. And when you're doing uncomfortable things then you're going to get certain takeaways and lessons and skills that not everybody else has. And that's, what's going to set you apart. And as everything, be prepared, be prepared for, for, for what you're asking for that opportunity to provide itself ASAP when you are standing out. I'm here for Looks it. like I got a phone call. You can hear it? No, nah, I can't hear it. Oh, no, nah, my phone was there. I, thought, I was like, yeah, was that coming through I'm the phone? Like, Does Robert Green yeah. hold up? Hold up. Yeah, now. Robert Green, call it. Robert Green, tap it. I'm on my way to Miami. Yeah. Stop playing. I'm about to say, what's the next one? Hold on. What's the next one? Let's, let's, uh, next one that's what I'm looking up right now. So next yeah. law we got. Law number, number seven. seven. Get others to do the work for you, but always take the credit. I do that. Ooh time bro I'm not hold you i do this all the time bro this is this a this is a toxic but this should be called toxic the 48 laws of of power uh, 48 laws of toxic power i'm gonna get somebody toxic on next time we're gonna we're gonna yeah, get a yeah, little yeah, yeah, i'm gonna yeah. get somebody toxic on next yeah. time so we could yeah because there's so many ways you could apply that one yeah <laughs> be that be that hurricane that comes through be the be the category five. They're gonna talk about the category five. That little, you know, the little category two, one, whatever. I don't know how the, the stages go. Be the big one, and people are gonna talk about you. Be That's noticed. Okay. Shake be up the room. Noticed. Any room that you in, shake up. Be noticed. And sometimes that being noticed can be playing it quiet in certain ways. And, mm-hmm. and but just be strategic. 100%. Be strategic. And on that note, we shall see y'all next week. Stay safe, everybody. Don't be no hero. Stay safe, everybody in Florida. You know what I mean? If you need help, reach out. And yeah, man, next week, back at it. We'll see y'all soon. Ew.